The scars left on your mirror were fortunately much more shallow than anyone had anticipated. Partly thanks to the fact that the number of assailants was relatively small, there were no fatalities. Oh, thank God. And the next morning, everyone worked together to clean up the damages and restore the village to its original form. However, my father was heavily wounded, and he had been in a deep sleep ever since. And while we knew his injuries weren't life-threatening, he would still need to be under careful watch for some time. Meanwhile, You're set on leaving now, aren't you? I am. I realize that with Dad unconscious, I should probably stay and protect Ymir in his place. Maybe you could even say that I've got a duty to do so as his son. But I've got something else that I need to do. And to me, that takes priority. If that's your decision, Reen, then I've no intention of stopping you. Like I said when you and Elise first left here to attend Thor's and Saint Astraea, it's a mother's duty to watch over her children and wish them well as they fly the nest. Mom. <laughs> I'll be sure to watch over your father and this village in your absence. Do all that you can to bring Princess Alfin and Elise back safely. Will do. Toval, Selene, please take care of him. You can count on me. On my honor as a member of the Bracer Guild, I'll do everything in my power to see your request through. I'd tag along even if he said no. It's about time we went and looked for Emma. Thanks, you two. I'll be counting on you. Okay, Mom. We'll see you soon. Take care. And may the Goddess watch over you. Your mom's a strong woman, all right. She really is. I'll have to do everything I can to bring Elise and Princess Alfin back safely so that I don't let her down. No, I will bring them back. <laughs> Guess we can skip the pep talk if you're that fired up, huh? Make sure to try and repay all that support she's given you the next time you swing by here. Speaking of next time, it's time to go. We're stopping by the valley before leaving, aren't we? Yeah, I want to see how Valimar's doing. Once we're ready, let's head out. Okay, warp. Yeah, I know how the quick travel works, thank you. And Tobol's with me. Okay. I have to go to the store first. Probably to get supplies. Hey, Squirt, you alright? Oh, weapon shop! Okay. Information. Upgrade quartz. Interesting. That's a lot to take in. I can also upgrade weapons.
What else is there? Tenth anniversary, okay. Sell the old weapons. Ooh, no, no, no. Hmm. I'm buying these. Oops. Or you have one. I thought I was upgrading them. I'm stupid. That's a really good one to have. I'm sure you can take information, but he can't. Come on. What about the rest later? Okay, I'm still not done here. Oh, this guy. Lady. You're really gonna be explaining to me how a shop works? Yeah, I know how these work. Now out to the valley.
Well, here we are. <sighs> Finally getting used to walking on this snow. The Divine Knight's exactly how you left him, too. Thankfully, it wouldn't have surprised me if Vita had tried messing with him. But he looks just fine. Speaking of, do you have any idea what she might be after? She knows Valimar is here, but as far as I can tell, she's not interested in stealing or destroying him. For now, anyway. It's kind of weird when you think about it. He's probably one of the biggest threats to the Noble Alliance. I've got no idea what goes on in that head of hers. But I'd say that there's a good chance her and the Noble Alliance's goals aren't as perfectly aligned as you might think. And if that's true, whatever she's doing is probably for the benefit of Ouroboros. Mm. You said the Anguis are the top brass in the society, right, Toval? If she's that high up, I wouldn't be surprised if that is the case. <sighs> well, whatever she wants. Can't see it being good news for us. They've been trouble all over the continent in the past. I dread to think what they've got in store here in Erebonia. No telling. At least we've got time to stop them. Things could have ended a lot worse yesterday if not for Valimar's help. I can't even imagine the ways Ymir would have suffered if we didn't stop that magic knight. I'll need to thank him when he wakes up. That will not be necessary. Whoa! Valimar? I suppose one night was enough for you to recover a little bit of your mana. Not enough to freely move around, though, I'm guessing. Correct. Further rest will be required in order to return to full capacity. Okay, get as much rest as you need. We'll call on you if anything else happens, okay? Acknowledged. Wow, easy enough to communicate with him, huh? Then again, I think that one Gordius class robot could technically talk, too. Is something huh. wrong? Oh, no. Just thinking. My guessing is that's a Trails of the Sky reference. I sense a change has occurred in our group since I last entered a state of inactivity. Confirming the absence of the wave floor of one number. A Wait, is he talking about Elise? Maybe. He appears to be aware of what's going on around him to an extent. Valimar, we're gonna be leaving this region for a while. My sister and the princess have been taken away, and we're going to rescue them. Plus, I need to find and reunite with my classmates, too. So take this chance to recover as long as you need, okay? Classmates? I assume that this word refers to those who have aided you in overcoming the trial to become an Awakener. Yeah, is that a big deal or something? Valimar? Confirming they form locations. Excluding the Awakener of Azure, the remainder of here be located in three different regions. All vital signs are normal. Hold up a sec. Does that mean you know where all of them are? I see now. Do you remember when you overcame the trial to become Valimar's Awakener? Well, obviously, you weren't alone when you did that. You were with the rest of Class 7. And it sounds like, thanks to them being there with you, They've all been recognized as secondary contractors at the same time. Oh! So that's how... Please, Valimar, tell me where they all are. Detecting approximate locations using geographical database. Three are to the southeast in the Caldic region. Oof. Three are to the northeast in the north region. Three are to the south-southeast in the Lagrand region. This concludes a list of locations of all nine secondary contractors. All vital signs appear normal. Yep, that's all of them. That confirms my theory. They're all okay. They're really okay. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. Though I sure wasn't expecting us to get confirmation of their safety quite like this. <sighs> Look at you crying away. And Quiet, you. Oh, come on. You can't pretend you aren't breathing a sigh of relief right along with us. This means Emma's safe too, you know. Oh, I for one am definitely breathing a sigh of relief. 
Still, all three locations are a ways away from Ymir. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the Noble Alliance has got control of key locations all over the country on top of it all. On the plus side, they're all on the eastern side of the Empire, but getting to them ain't exactly gonna be a walk in Modern Park. Oh hey, wait! Valimar, can't you use the spirit path? The what now? Spirit path? What's that? It's the name given to a really old means of travel. Using it will allow us to travel instantly to even distant locations. Seriously? How? You know how there are still remnants of animism all across Erebonia, right? Magic! Well, places like that are connected to one another by spirit veins. Septium veins, in other words. And Valimar has the ability to use those veins to travel. Yeah, that's kind of going over my head. But basically, you're saying it's like an invisible road that connects places like Legram to here or wherever else? Exactly. The spirit path can only be used between areas where animism had a hold though. The other drawback is that taking it will use up what little mana Valimar's been able to recover. Which means that until he's recovered enough to travel again, we won't be able to come back here. I see. Personally, I can't think of any better options. I think we should give it a try. What do you think? Beats the hell out of walking. It sounds worth a shot to me. Now all that's left is to pick which place we should head to first. Right. Keldic, the Nord Highlands, or Legram. Hmm. I think Keldic is the closest to here. Maybe we should try heading there first? Keldic, huh? I'm down. Should make a good test run for this whole spirit path deal. All decided? Let's do Come it. Come with me then. Right. The monument would have ties to animism. Hmm. This seems like a good enough spot. Are you both ready? Ready. Anytime. Velimar, open the spirit path. Our destination is Keldic. I'll lend you all the support I can, too. How did you get it here? Acknowledged. Has he had enough energy for a short walk? Activating spirit path. Whoa, hey, the ground's glowing. What's this? And the cat's talking, and there's a mechanical, mechanized magic knight in front of you. All right, here we go. The Ashen Chronicles. Lunaria Nature Park. Did we make it? 
know this place. It's the Naria Nature Park. Okay. We're stuck here for a little while. Something coming? I've been going a little over 20 minutes. I can go a little longer because mostly cutscenes and talking and exposition. Magic in the air. Higher elements. Boy, they're not pulling any punches. see him using a baton. Oh, a chest, I wonder what's inside. Oh, a chest, I wonder what's inside. A stone brooch. Okay. It gives them the advantage. Let's move. It breaks the link apparently. Oh, green, you need to get a grip, buddy. Ready to go. Whew. That's that. I did it. Green got a level right when I needed him to. Yes, I know status effects don't carry on from battles, which is a good thing. <laughs> Septium, septium mass is great for exchanging for money. Make sure I'm going in the right direction. We aren't planning to take that monster on, are we? Yes, we are. Stay sharp, guys. It's a big one, so I'm gonna keep this. All right, let's do this. Understood. And that's why I hate these things. 
What's your thing? You know what? Let's time to stop. Go for the rebellion and storm on the crib. Why not? This is gonna hurt. Rebellion storm. And that's why I hate these things. Ready to go! Whew. That's that. Looking good. Tobo got a level up. Oh, a chest. I wonder what's inside. Some kind of bottle. Sit. Let me actually use some healing items, just make me feel better about Reen's low health there. Oh, is that a stream? This way should lead to the exit. Yeah, it should, but I'm curious if there's anything good back here. <laughs> yes, big chest. Oh, a chest. I wonder what's inside. It is a trap chest. Let's wrap this up. Let's gather on my blade. Things I don't like. Time to stop holding back. Does they inflict stun essentially? I hate them. A lot. This is gonna hurt! Rebellion Storm! Phew. That's that. Spectre. Interesting. Hmm. Sure. I do have impassion, good. That's a really good one to have when you need to get the combat points back up. EP charge, always good to have. A mince drop. Kind of weird going backwards. Oh, you're planning I don't to want take to ignore that monster, ignore, 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 ignore it. Leave me alone. I hate those things. Right. We aren't planning to take that monster on, are we? Ha! This thing again, really? Let's 
going on? Override when linked with each other. Overdrive. About overdrive. Overdrive is the ability triggered during battle that boosts the power of Arcus combat links. It restores HP, EP, and CP. It clears oh. Oh. Let's move. I like that. Now! Gotcha! I'm up! Here you go! Here I go! Yeah! The overdrive does I'm not up. last very long, does it? Activate my turn. Here you go. Ready to go. Try this. I thought he it's just spikes hurt. it like it's volleyball. Rebellion storm! <laughs> I'm pretty sure we made this thing cranky. Disactivate! My turn! Activate. Sure thing. Yeah, just attacking builds up. Wow. My turn. Gotcha! 
So it seems like it takes a lot to actually. Never mind. Anyway, like I was saying, it, take, it seems like it takes a lot to actually get the overdrive ready. But that was not that bad of a boss fight. Sorry, that's it for you. Great. Uh, it seems like defeating enemies does ring it up. We're alive. I kind of figured that out. Okay, and after battle, based on how well I performed. Okay. Get into Keldic.
Okay, so I actually have to go to Tristo, really? I should be going to Keldic, that's what's important. Good to have a healing art ready. It's my first time on this highway, actually. Oh, yeah? Oh, now we're in these clothes. I like the look of that. Even though I kind of ruined the active voice. My bad. Chest. I wonder what's inside. Earth lands. Uh. Can't believe what I'm seeing. Just set up a checkpoint. Complete with Panzer Soldats. Kind of a waste of time, all I'm saying. All I'm saying is, that was a complete and total waste of time. Although we did establish that the Noble Faction has checkpoint set up on most roads. Ain't over yet. Here you go. This ain't over yet. Sorry, that's it for you. Keldick, Market Town. Seems like the market's still going strong, though. Pretty high on the Noble Alliance's wanted list.
Okay, so avoid the provincial army as much as I can. Oh, Becky, you're from the school. somewhere. You have a strange speech pattern. Have a speech impediment. Maybe she has a lisp. Or they're trying to imply she has an accent. to the market for the rest of the story. I shouldn't have skipped through that. Oh, I've been going for over an hour, almost an hour. This is the Grand Market, huh? Pretty lively. Not as lively as it was, though. Yeah, this ain't the market I know. And they're drunk. Well, one is anyway. Wow.
Okay. I really need to end the episode. It's getting it's gone going on for too long now. Rain, what are you doing here? Proceed? First year like me. Oh my god, I'm tired. I haven't even done anything. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I continue to search Keldic for my classmates. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.